Hello everyone, I'm Ed Escobedo for Southwest School of Art and welcome to Saturday Morning Discovery. Um, today's activity we're going to focus on the, the artwork of uh, Andy Goldsworthy. He's a British sculptor, environmentalist, and photographer. His main idea is working with what's around him from nature, so what's outside. He used, that's his medium. He uses sticks, flowers, stones, whatever he'd find outside. Um, then he usually takes a picture of it, um, photo photographs it. So that's what our idea is going to be. So our first step is going to go outside and look for materials. Um, you also might want to have a sketchbook with you and a pencil in case you see something that inspires you outside. You can sketch it out or you can sketch out your creations you make. You might also want, also want to have a container or a bag to gather your materials. Besides that, we're, I think we're good to go and let's go out and look for materials. Couple of the stuff that I found uh, right now. So a couple of leaves, and I like these little flowers that I found. These are really good for color. You're gonna want some color in your, in your creations. Some little flowers, um, these acorns, you know, just regular sticks and twigs. Also, got some nice stones here, which we, um, Goldsworthy was really, um, he liked uh, doing the rock balancing sculpture, so we could do some of those too. So if you find these nice smooth stones, these are the best. But these will work too as well. Um, so yeah, this is for example. There's many of stuff you can find. More you can collect more if you want. This is just for, just for today's demo. So the first thing we're going to do is um, some rock balancing or rock stacking. Uh, Goldsworthy really enjoyed doing this. So the thing about this, after you stack them, you're going to want to use your sketchbook and sketch it out or. Take a uh, photograph of it, um, will look really nice. That's what goals really did. Once you have them uh, constructed, just leave them alone and let you know whoever passes by the next to interact with it. It's pretty fun for them to see what random uh, uh, rock stackings. So the first thing, I always like to start with a, a bigger stone and then get a, good, get a good balance and flip it around. Just find a good balance. I think this is gonna be good right here. And then just, you know, variety of smooth stones work best. It's all about balance. So just move, just adjust if you have to. It can be a little challenging at some points, but just be patient and have fun with it. And then the better, when you get really organic looking rocks, it looks even nicer. Yeah, you might have to change things around. It's a challenge because you're, you're working with materials you, you're finding. You're not buying them. They're not perfect. Just have to work with it. And I think I could fit one more. I think that would be good. If I can. If not, sometimes you've got to walk away from it. That looks nice right there. And then also, to add some little more accents to it, I collected some small pebbles right here, and then we could just make a nice little circular pattern around it. So this is a, is a sculpture, it's 3D. You go all the way around it, you get all views. Um, other thing that Goldory does, he uses stones flat, right flat on the ground, which we could do something like that in a bit. But this is a nice 3D sculpture. And that's, I think I'm done with here. Makes a nice little ring around your sculpture. And there's a nice um, balanced rock sculpture. All right, everyone. So another thing Gold's where he likes to do with uh, rocks and pebbles, he likes to make uh, linear patterns on the ground instead of a 3D sculpture. Um, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do a linear pattern with our pebbles but if you could see here, I sorted them for color. We're gonna do a, a gradient scale from light to dark with our different color pebbles. So just sort them by color and then we can get started. So let's start from 
dark, so I'm gonna get my darkest ones here. This is a nice linear pattern. And then we'll get some more of our grays. It's dark, kind of going in some gray. Then we could get some more of these red ones as well. For a different color. And let's start going, getting a little bit more to the lighter colors here. So that's a nice linear pattern from darks to lights. Um, this would make a really good uh, photograph. So if you want to set up your, make your linear gradient scale, your pebbles, and take a nice picture, and then it'll be really cool to get it developed and you could frame it. That's what Goldsworthy does with his rock formations. He uh, photographs them and then gets them developed and then he exhibits, exhibits them that way. All right, everyone, so the next thing we're gonna do um, is what Goldsworthy really loves to do. All these materials that we went to look for earlier, sticks, leaves, uh, flowers, he likes placing them on like a uh, surface, usually the ground, and he makes like nice radial patterns with all of the colors he has. So that's what we're gonna do, it's really fun. So the first thing I wanna think about, like what are we gonna put in the middle? So I found these acorns. I think that would be a nice focal point in the center. I just, you know, stack them there. So that's gonna be our center. Got a lot of texture. And now I want some color, so I found some purple, purple flowers. So you make a ring around this. So I want this center to be really colorful, so I got some more flowers here. So this one's gonna go around the purple as best as I can do it. And again, just this alone looks really nice. We'll add more stuff to it. I found these white, really bright white flowers. This will go around it. So try to find a variety of bright and dark colors so you get some nice contrast. And that's gonna make your creation stand out more. Okay, so that's gonna be our nice colorful one right here. I'm gonna add some really dark reds on the outside. And now I have some really nice brown leaves. These are good right now. Fall just started, so we'll find more of these around. Now I'm gonna do a, a radial around this with our brown color. So now, I remember, mean, all we're doing is just making a nice radial pattern. It looks like little halos. So we do a radial in the middle, and just keep opening up with our colors. Utilizing my twigs and sticks for a nice little border here. So then lastly, I found these nice white rose petals and they're gonna look great on just the very outside. So you can stop wherever you want or you can just keep adding like what I'm doing, I'm just keep adding a new radio of material. All right, everyone, so now we did, we finished our radial um, Goldsworthy inspired um, art here with our flower sticks and leaves that we found. Again, you're trying to look for different contrasting colors. We went bright with the bright flowers in the middle, then worked our way out with different materials, and then we ended it rounded with the brown, nice brown leaves. Um, so again, remember we could do ba rock balancing sculpture. You could do uh, a nice radial pattern with pebbles. And then also we did, we could do our radial um, artwork with our materials that we found. So we could practice doing those three activities, and remember, with your sketchbook, you could draw, after you create them, you could draw what you made, 
Or again, it would be really nice to take a nice photograph of these works so then you could get them developed and you could get them framed. Um, so that's about all we have for you today. Um, I'm uh, Ed Escobedo for Southwest School of Art and thank you for joining us for uh, Saturday Morning Discovery and happy making.